Hey, this is Dom from MacMixing.com, and today we're going to go over routing in Redrum. We're going to take the sound from Reason and put it inside of Pro Tools on its own individual track using Redrum Drum Computer. Basically, with Rewire, you can have it on an insert of an audio track inside of Pro Tools and play your left and right mix out of it like this. There, I was playing music out of Reason into Pro Tools but I can't do anything with it. In order to change anything, I have to be inside of Reason and I have to go to this mixer and I have to pull things up or down. And sometimes things just won't go loud enough inside of Reason too. So what I'm going to teach you how to do here is to take any device inside of Reason and put it through an audio track like one of these inside of Pro Tools. The easy thing here to do, you want to go ahead and hit your tab key on the keyboard to switch to the back view of all your racks. Uh, now this does look a little messy and confusing to some people, but don't worry, it's super, super easy to do this. So first, I'll show you how to do it on Redrum, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it on Kong, which is uh, Reason 5's new drum designer that they just came out with. So we have Redrum here, and I have a few different drums selected, and I'm going to go ahead and solo this so you can hear the individual drums, and I'm going to play it. All right, it's nothing too complex, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take that and put it on its own tracks inside of Pro Tools. So let's go over to our Pro Tools window. Since I know I have three different drums in that redrum, I'm going to pull up three new audio tracks. Just go ahead and make them stereo audio tracks. Click Create. And then we're going to go ahead and add an insert to each channel. We're going to go down to Instrument and go to Reason and that's just where my Reason Rewire is. Yours may be somewhere else. For the most part they're all inside of instruments. And I'm going to go ahead and, send and select track 3 and 4. And I'm going to do that for the next two tracks going up 5, 6, and 7, 8. So go down to Reason again. 5, 6. Another easy way to do this is if you hold Alt or Option on your keyboard, click and drag to another track. You can copy that insert and so now that we have all this pulled up, I'm going to go back inside of Reason, and I'm going to turn the racks around. And then I see I have my redrum here. The back of my redrum has each channel for each instrument, and then we have these ports right here. These jacks are actually outputs back here. All we have to do is click on one to create the cable and drag it to where we want it. Now, you might ask, well, where do we want to put it? Do we want to put it to the mixer? No, because that's just going to do the same thing that it's doing already. It's going to have everything in the mixer. Now, you can also do that. You can drag an instrument to one single track in the mixer, and then it's going to put that single track right here. It says Redrum 1, Channel 1. So when we play that, we have our kick drum just on that track, which is cool if you want to do everything in Reason. But if you're trying to move into Pro Tools, that's just not going to work. So let's go ahead and go to the back and take track one. We're going to take it all the way up to track three. And it'll automatically detect that it's a stereo track and it'll create the other cable for you. So only drag it. You only have to drag it from the top jack to the hardware I.O. This is actually what Rewire gets its information from. So when you are putting audio through Pro Tools, Rewire is grabbing the audio from the audio I.O. inside of Reason. So we're basically telling it to send track one, which is my kick drum, through audio IO 3.4. So now in Pro Tools, we have 3.4 selected in our Reason. So it's pulling that audio right from Reason's IO 3.4. So now when we go into Pro Tools and we press play, we should have our kick playing out of 3.4. So now inside of Pro Tools, I have complete control over my kick drum, and I can label that kick. So now I can turn it up or down, and it's all inside of Pro Tools instead of Reason. And we can do that for each other track. We have track two, go to five, six. Oops. Go to five, six, and then, so we'll take track eight and go to seven, eight. So now we should have all three of those instruments playing inside of Pro Tools now. So let's go to Pro Tools. There we go. So now I have the audio directly into Pro Tools. And so that's basically all we have to do to get our audio from Reason into Pro Tools. And then you can do your tracking in Pro Tools and you won't have to switch back and forth to make any adjustments to your instruments or anything like that. 
Up next, I will do the Kong tutorial to tell you how to route the audio from Kong inside of Redrum because personally, I like Kong a lot better than I do Redrum. It's got a little more flexibility, a little more options. So in the next video I will post, I'll show you the Kong tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com. Go check out MacMixing.com for more tutorials. Thanks.